Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share about this smart manage switch. Smart manage switch, this can be a smart function. That means you're able to manage on it. Okay, this is the model, the S3E1309P that's EI. Okay, this inside is contact already taken out everything. So it's just nothing over here. It's just an empty box. So uh but they can be many also. I make sure if you're free you can read that uh, if you buy purchase this thing. Okay, this have a they come with one power cord adapter and this is circuit vision. Okay, this adapter voltage is around 48 watt, 2.5 air. Okay, this is a DC usually used on the PoE switch. Okay, this PoE switch they come with the uh, egg pods and one P one PoE one disc for the link for, for the up link. Okay, so there's nothing to do over here. Once you power up, plug into your network. Then you're able to power up your IP camera. This is uh, my IP camera, it's able to power up. Okay, so we come take a look on, over here. Okay, now we are doing to do the some, <coughs> some setting because we can monitor about. But sorry to say that for this model, it doesn't come with the web. web. So we, we need to enter by using batch configuration, otherwise, SATP. As it, usually, HIK product they use SATP to search all the data, something like here. So you can take a look, click on it, you can activate your cap, your switch by using your desired password. Okay. Once you activate it already, you can put your IP. Example, I'm over here, I put uh, this IP. Okay. Okay, done. The IP already done for the mo uh, the modification. So I prove you. The web browser is not able to access. Okay, so this is the thing that web browser cannot do on the IBMS or uh, on the this HIK switch product. <laughs> so we have to go to the batch configuration or IBMS 4200. Okay, so we come to over here. This is a switch. So we add into the batch configuration. Okay, we already add into, add into the, this patch configuration, right? So this patch configuration, we're able to do a remote configuration. So this is all the setting, you're able to uh, reboot, restore, query all the things, security, network. You can change your IP over here at once. You can set out your DDNS. Okay, this I will hold for later, later I will show you. Okay, this is a port configure. We have to do the long range. We are able to do the long range parameter for the settings. Okay, come to the PoE ports. You can disable or enable on it. So there is a nothing setting over here. So come to this. Okay, <clears throat> this is a HIK connect. So we are we able to enable the HIK connect over here. So up to you. You want to do what name? For me, I use AADDCC. Okay, we save it. So, for this thing, I pay a refresh. Okay, when is, you see here, they work online over here already. So now, we got this uh, HIK Pro Connect. We're able to use the HIK Pro Connect over here. This is my HIK Pro Connect account. So we can do the device. You can add device over here. Okay, you by using HIK, by using scan QR code. Okay, you can use it by adding device. Okay, by serial number. Okay, we input the serial number over here. Okay, so we take a look on the, this serial number. So serial number is usually after the date, start on J. So you put J. Zero eight zero two eight three nine eight verification code just now I put the uh, A A D D C C 
So mm. we add into the side of this. Okay, we add into it. Okay, for matters completely, okay. Uh, once it's air ready, you will finish. Okay, over here you can see your switch here. Okay, it's similar with your what you think. You can see your POE voltage over here and also the availability, the bit rate, everything you can come over here, take a look. You can use, okay, example, this is my internet network one. You can using report the port, that means you can report the camera. You can extend the using extend board. You can everything you can co able to configure over here. Okay, that is the thing the this switch can do. So thank you for watching. Okay, and please like and subscribe to my video and my channel. Thank you.